Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to add a button to the top of your Squarespace website. So I'm here in a website that I'm playing around with and you'll see that the header is here. I don't have any navigation yet. I don't have to. I can go ahead and add the button at any time. So let me turn off my face and let's get going. So um, I'll move this out of the way as well. So when you're in your website on any page you can click edit and when you roll over this top section, you'll get the option to edit the site header. When you do that, you'll see underneath edit design or add elements. And what you want to do is add a button. So you'll click add elements, turn on button, and then we can go up in this area. I'll just click off of it. And now the button is here. I can double click inside the button and change the text to, you know, contact me and I could leave this as an email or I could remove the link and add a new one. So it could be to a file, an email, a phone number, or a URL, which could be a link on your website. If you um, go to URL here and click in this box, you'll see a list of the pages on your website here, or you can paste in a link to something external. So if you have an external calendar and you want someone to book a call with you, you could do that as well. So let's just pretend that google.com is where we're going to send people. I don't know why we would do that, but you would just paste in that link here. Typically, if we're linking outside the website, it will automatically open the link in a new tab. You can decide if you want to toggle that on or off. I usually leave it on if I'm linking outside my website, but if it's a pop-up or if you're staying within your website, you'll want to leave this off. And you can adjust um, when that's done, you can click off. <laughs> Sorry, that took a second. Um, yeah, it's still there. I guess you just click off anywhere and it will um, save it. And again, the text, you can change that here. So this could say like book a call. And when you're done, when all of that looks great, you can hit save up here. Or if you've made a mistake, you can undo this bit by bit using the undo button. Or if you haven't saved it at all, you can exit out of it and it's like nothing ever happened. But again, to add that button, it's edit, edit site header, add elements, turn on button, double click the button and edit the text. And then you can edit the link or remove it and add a new one. We're going to add a URL, link out to Google, click off and it will save it. We can double check by going back in here and then click save and exit. And there you have it. You've added a button to the top of your website. Now you may want to add two buttons and you can't do that natively through Squarespace, but I'll drop a link below to ghost plugins and you can just copy and paste the code here and follow the instructions to add a secondary header button to your website. Now if you need an even more complex header and the two buttons aren't cutting it, I recommend Will Myers plugin store. If you click site header on the left, there are a few options here that might work for you. The mega hamburger menu is really cool. And I use the mega menu for Squarespace 7.1 on a lot of projects. So check those out if you need a more complex header. And I hope you found this useful and I wish you all the best with your website.